YouTube, my Illuminati peeps. It's your boy Jerron Fit in the Pump Tracers gym with the games going on. Hey, hey, first things first, man. Be sure to follow your boy on Instagram. The IG is at Jerron Fit. Please follow me there. Join my Illuminati army, man, and my brand, all right? Also, be sure to, if you like this video, to actually like it, man. You know what I'm saying? If you don't, hopefully next time I'll do a better job and you will like the video, you know what I'm saying? Because we can't be perfect all the time, but we can just try our best and hope to get better. So again, if you like the video, please like it, share, and subscribe. Subscribe. If you don't, hopefully I can get you next time, you know what I'm saying? But I digress. Now, original topic for this video, all right, as you saw in the title, it's me explaining what Illuminati means to you, for me, for everyone. There's a little bit of misconfusion. Everybody thinks I'm trying to rep some secret society, which is not bad, you know what I'm saying? But that's not the topic of this video, all right? So I'm gonna give you what Illuminati means so you can know what you support, what's going on, all right? So let me give you a story uh, about the background of how, of how this came to be, all right? I think you guys are gonna find this very, very interesting because it's not going to be probably what you think, or maybe it is, all right? So, to get into this, all right, I'm going to give you a little bit of Greek mythology, all right? Are you guys familiar uh, with the person Adonis or the story of Adonis, all right? If you're not, I'm gonna give you the story of Adonis and how this pertains to Illuminati, all right? I'm gonna give you the story of Adonis, all right? Adonis was a young boy who was born into a very, hmm, let's just say, kind of freaky deaky relationship, all right? And so because of that freaky deaky relationship, Adonis was going to be killed, all right? So to save Adonis, his mother prayed to the gods and they transformed Adonis and basically he got sent out to the forest to live and so he could survive, all right? So, all right guys, so Adonis as a young boy went to go to the woods, all right? Now, the young Adonis, right, had a passion for hunting and training and running around and all that beautiful stuff, right? That those, those little games, baby, right? Making those games. He was working the field, he was hunting, running, drinking mother's milk, all that good stuff, making the muscles, the abs, all that. Looking good, you know what I'm saying? Looking good. In the forest was the goddess Aphrodite. Do y'all know who Aphrodite is? Aphrodite is the ancient Greek god associated with love and beauty. Badness! Looking good! Fine! You know what I'm saying? That's who Aphrodite was, alright? So Aphrodite was in the forest and she set her gaze upon Adonis. I'm letting the camera, uh, let me get this back adjusted. So Aphrodite was in the forest and she seen Adonis. Muscles rippling. Biceps peaking. Abs, nice, tight, looking good. So she saw this, right? And so she walked up to Adonis. She said, like, Mom, you are a beautiful God. What God are you? Which God are you? What, the, what are you the God of? Adonis? He said, excuse me, Aphrodite. I'm not a God. I'm just a normal man. Let me say that again. Adonis wasn't a god. Adonis was a normal man that caught attentions of the goddess Aphrodite with his body, with his physique, his stature. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now let me give me this fast track, all right? We had Ares, a hater, was jealous of Adonis because Aphrodite lusted after him, his luscious muscle body. He hated him. So one day he knew Adonis had a passion for hunting. So he sent a wild boar. Enraged. Possessed even. Adonis drew his spear. He stabbed the boar. And instead of the boar running for his life, the boar became enraged. And he gouged Adonis. Attacked him. As Adonis laid there bleeding, he cried out for the gods to help him. Cried out, Aphrodite came. Please don't take my Adonis. Please don't take my Adonis. All right, Adonis dies. 
goes to the underworld, right? In the underworld, there's Persephone, the goddess of the underworld, wife to Hades. While the dance is in the underworld, tilling the fields, working hard. Working hard, muscles ripping even harder now because they got the sweat of Hades on them. The sweat of Hades on his body. <laughs> Looking good. All right, Persephone, see the muscles ripping and say, oh my goodness, this, this can't be a mortal man. So Persephone proceeds to have an affair with Adonis behind Hades' back. Mm. Okay. So, part of the deal they made with Adonis going to Hades was this. When Adonis was in Hades, all right, he was supposed to split his time between Persephone and Aphrodite. That was the deal. Half of his time with Persephone. Half with Aphrodite. That was a deal they made. But what happened was Aphrodite wasn't happy with this. She said, I want to do this all to myself. The goddess of love and beauty wanted to do this all to herself. So what did she do? She said, until Adonis is mine. Until I can have Adonis all to myself, I'm going to remove, remove love from the world. He took love from the world. Couples everywhere, across the world, went in despair. Everywhere. Zeus himself started having relationship shit problems. Zeus himself. Zeus had to intervene. So Zeus came down and said, what's going on? Aphrodite says, man, I want Adonis for myself. Persephone said, Zeus, I want Adonis for myself. They both wanted him, but they couldn't have him. So this is what Zeus said. This is what Zeus decreed. He said, listen, ladies, Adonis was Persephone. Adonis will spend a third of his time with you. Aphrodite. Adonis, Adonis will spend a third of the time with you. And then he will have a third of the time for himself to do what he loves to do. Hunt, feast, and train. To do things that he loves to do. And this is where Illuminati comes from. We are followers of Adonis. Male or female. Men, we are the Adonises. The females of the Illuminati, you are the goddesses. You are the Aphrodites. You are the Persephones. Like I told you guys, this is a brand for everyone. All right? We are followers of the cult of Adonis, all right? The cult of the bicep. You feel what I'm saying? So it's not anything serious. Like I said, it's fun. Something we can get behind. But it's also truth. Because... Your physique can be in such a way that it can cause disruption toward the gods. You see what I'm saying? Adonis' physique caused the gods to have problems. Do you get what I'm saying? So there you guys have it. That is my explanation for Illuminati. All right? We are it's a play on Adonis, Aphrodite, and Persephone. That's what it means. All right? So just to clear up the confusion, about that, I just want to let you guys know. All right? So, like I told you, we are the followers of the cult of Adonis. Adonis was the man who had the goddess Persephone and Aphrodite up in arms because his body was just so tight. They didn't know what to do. So that's how that's what I that's what we strive to be here in this Illuminati profession, man. Have a physique so Good that the gods take notice. You see what I'm saying? Like Dragon Ball Z, turn him into power, man. Goku whooping ass so good, the gods had to stand up and clap. That's how 
how you want to be, man. You want to look so good, man, that the goddess and the angels and all that, man, say, like, damn, boy, what milk you been drinking? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But that's, that is my explanation for what Illuminati stands for. A lot of people have been confused. And now I've explained it to you so that removes the confusion. There you go. It's your boy, Jerome Fit. Please support your boy, Illuminati Clothing. Man, check it. Ah, oh, man. I got my uh, some of my other merch outside. I, I'll put it on next time. But thank y'all for y'all support. Fuck with me. Woo! And uh, yeah. Yeah. Peace out.